Hello everybody. Hope you're all well. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, it's been three months since I've been out on the bike and the reason is I have not been myself. Um, Aaron got in touch with me on YouTube the other week and asked if I was going to do any more videos because he hadn't seen any and he enjoys watching them. Well I'm hoping that this video is going to explain a bit to him and to everybody else. And what it is, I've been diagnosed with like a lot of other people, mental health problems. Um, that sounds bad, but well, everybody is different. I've it's got I've got um, bad depression and anxiety. That's right. It's a job to get that word out. Um, which means the slightest little thing I can get down, really down, and I just don't want to do anything, and that's the anxiety part of it. Um, the missus, bloody hell, the missus has noticed it for a while, she said, you know, it's been going on now for the biggest part of this year, and like she said, I, she can't force me to do anything. I've got to do it when I'm ready. And I've been doing bits and pieces and trying to get on with things. And every, they reckon that there's a trigger for everybody's got a trigger. And it doesn't take a lot to pull that trigger it's like a hair trigger on a rifle and as daft as that sound what triggered mine we was I was getting the caravan ready to go away on holiday and I was washing it down getting all the old green algae off it from the winter and I've got one of these proper wash brushes, you know, extendable handle, what have you, and I just caught one of the skylights with it, and it broke. So that basically cocked the trigger, if you like, and I looked at the others and they were brittle, I thought, well, let's answer that, but that's not the point. Anyway, I got the caravan washed, and I was wrapping up the hose and I've got one of these um, hose reels that you get hold of the handle and just wind the hose in. Well the handle snapped and that was my trigger. Well I, I just lost it. I did just totally lost it and I went indoors and I said to the missus I said I've had enough. I said I just do not want to be on this planet anymore. I've had an absolute gutful of living. And she said, she's told me later that she could see the difference in me from that. And she said, right, you are going up the doctors. I said, well, I've got to do something. I said, or I'm going to do something. I said, because I've had enough. I have totally had enough. And anyway, I went to work. I didn't want to go, but I went to work and I was walking around like a zombie. This was on the Tuesday after the bank holiday in end of May. And they said to me at work, are you all right? I said, no, I'm not. I just don't want to be here, I don't want to be anywhere. I said, I've had enough of living, and that's as simple as that. I said, the only thing that's keeping me alive is, I said, it's not, I'm not living for myself anymore. I'm living because there is some people who care about me, 
and I don't want to hurt them. I, know, I said, I'm not trying to be selfish, I said, but if I didn't have anybody, I said I'd be gone. That's as simple as that, I would be gone. And they didn't give me masses to do, they sort of kept me about the place, just keep an eye on me. And Mrs. got me into the doctors that afternoon and I walked in there and she said to me, I walked in, I was just like a zombie, I really was. She said, I can see exactly what's the matter with you before you even open your mouth. I said, can you? Yes, she said, you are very depressed. She said, and looking at you, she said, you're struggling very bad. She said, when did you last have a break or a holiday? I said, I haven't. What do you mean you haven't? I said, I haven't had a break since Christmas. I said, I've had the bank holidays. I said, but I just haven't had a break. I haven't had a holiday, I haven't had any time off apart from that. I said, I don't work weekends. I've got no intention of working weekends. I said, but that's, that's not enough. She said, that's not enough. She said, you are very run down. She said, that's caused a lot of this. And she said, have you got any holiday coming up? I said, yeah, we got a fortnight booked in July. Right, she said, if you hadn't, she said, I was going to put you off for longer. She said, but are you happy to have a week off? I said, yeah, more than happy. So she put me off for a week and I went back to work for a, about a month, I think. Uh, and then we had a week, uh, fortnights off and we took the caravan up to Lincolnshire. And um, yeah, we had a good holiday. Again, I didn't really want to do anything, I didn't want to go far, but we was fishing, the weather was crap for, some, most, for a lot of the time, and that's just been crap ever since. And um, I've been trying to get back into me fishing, and uh, I'm getting there with it. I've bought myself some new bite alarms and a bait boat and bits and pieces like that, and uh, this is, as I said, this is the first time I've been out on the bike and I've been wanting to go and wanting to go but then I'll talk myself out of going for one reason or another, you know, and that's the anxiety side of things. And she said to me this morning, she said, are you going out on your bike? I said, well I want to, I said, but I want to do this, I want to do that. No, she said, you're not, she said, you're not doing it. She said, you are going to get your gear on when we get back and you're going out on that bike. I said, all right. I've been planning to go out all week, you know. I said to her, I said, I'm going to, if I go out, I said, I shan't go far. I said, I'll just have a ride over to Castle Acre. I know the road, I know the place. And as it happens, there's supposed to be a bike show on in the village that I live, in the pub just up the road from me. So I should probably call in there on the way back and just stick my head in and have a look. If that's anything like the last one, I won't be there long. But, um... So, that's where I've been, and that's, that's the reasons why I haven't done anything. Um, as I said, well, I think the last time I went out on the bike, there was about half a dozen or so of us had a ride up to Hunt Stanton and uh, yeah, we had a good day out and um, I think that was about the 21st of May and then uh, we'll say the following weekend was the bank holiday and I was getting the caravan sorted out and then all that happened <coughs> and that put me on tablets so I've got to take them but uh, yeah, as I say, so sometimes I'm I'm okay. You know, I can get on with things and not let things worry me. But then other days, I, again, I, I just don't want to be here. The tablets are helping, but um, I think I have got no purpose in life, no purpose whatsoever. 
you know, I, I go fishing, I enjoy that. I come out on my bike, as say this first time, and I'm enjoying it. Very, very rusty, nigh on seized up. I'm bike riding, but I'm getting there. And uh, was, we had a fortnight away with a caravan. But um, I wanted to go, but oh, the apprehension on that was the towing. I mean, I've been towing ever since I've had a driving license. Uh, and I was 17 when I passed me, no, 18 when I passed my car test. And uh, I should be 60 next year. And uh, I've towed everywhere, you know, and not thought nothing of it. But um, this time, didn't want to do it. But I did. And we got there and we got home. And she said to me, she said, uh, see, you can do it. She said, I know you were struggling, but I knew you could do it. And, uh... That is on it. Yeah. Superb. Yeah. It's all right. I let him go. Uh, I don't know who it is, but he just pulled up beside me. Um... Yeah, she, she said, I, I knew you could do it, but uh, I don't know, it, it, I am struggling, as I said, so anyway, I won't bore you anymore, that's where I've been, um, hopefully be getting out again, um, I want to get to Cop Dock, bike show, there's a couple of things on the August bank holiday that I want to go to, um, which is only couple of weeks away so hopefully I'll be get to go somewhere and get some more videos done um, and get them up uh, so yeah there will be some more coming but as I said it's what and when but again it's all depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling okay, then yeah, I'll go. But uh, so, if anybody has been wondering where I've been, I've been, and that's why I've been so quiet on social media. I've not been on any um, really any chats, anything. I've just been keeping out of the way, as I said, because I just don't want to be there. Just don't want to be anywhere. So, with that, you all take care. And um, if you're going through the same sort of thing as I am, they tell me there's light at the end of the tunnel, and it's going to be a long tunnel. Well, I feel it is for me anyway. But everybody is different. Everybody is different. It's like I've said to people before, you know, there's no right way to get over things, and there's no wrong way. You do what you feel is right for you. Don't let anybody else tell you Oh, you shouldn't be feeling like that. You've got to feel like this. Blah, blah, blah. But, um, no. Everybody deal with things in their own way. And so I say, don't let anybody tell you any different. Yes, they can advise you and, you know, but you're the person going through it. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. So... We'll catch you all later. I'm just going to have a ride through at Castle Lake now and uh, then have a ride home and go to that show in the village. And uh, we'll see you all. Hopefully, see some of you soon. And uh, take care, everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>